We look at the future now and we see Alzheimer's and we see diabetes and we see cancer. And biotech companies are filled with scientists and entrepreneurs who see in their mind's eye a different future. And then they innovate to change the course of history. It's incredible. Innovation is what we're all about. Not only new ideas and new products, but essentially charting a new future. So we have scientists and companies that can envision a world where diseases that are crippling today are not anymore. We can envision a world where farmers are way more productive and can feed more people than anyone had ever hoped for. And we can envision a world where we have cleaner fuels and more sustainable materials that are better for our environment. What drove us to decide to change our name was a recognition that innovation better describes what we do. Innovation is all about thinking of things that don't exist, creating a new future, new ways to heal people, new ways to feed people, new ways to fuel the world. The message that I want bio members to take from the name change is that we are better describing what they do, who they are and how they think. These are some of the most innovative people on the planet. We're not changing focus at all. We've always been innovators. What's happening is that the public is more hopeful than ever that we can innovate new products that will change the course of their lives and change the course of history. We have about 250 biotech medicines that are in use right now in patients that are extending and saving lives and making those lives of a higher quality. We have 18 million farmers around the world using biotech agricultural products that are making them more productive so that they can feed more people and earn more money for their families. We have 50 bio refineries right now in the world that are turning what was normally waste agricultural products into clean fuel. We are healing, we are fueling, and we are feeding the world and much more. Our companies can have terrific scientists, the best in the world. They can have terrific businessmen and women who are fabulous entrepreneurs. But if the policy environment at the state, federal, and international level is not conducive to success, then we can't succeed. But what bio has to do is innovate ourselves and come up with policies that are good for innovation, good for the taxpayer, good for the payer, and most importantly, the patient. The future of bio is extraordinarily exciting, and it is because the science of biotechnology is extraordinarily exciting. We are going places that people haven't dreamed of. We are solving problems that people have hoped to be solved for decades. It will only get better.